All right, welcome back to another episode of Island. A tale of everlasting love. I sure At least since I'm starting to go to, uh, for the first time and I think I'll choose uh, to watch over in there. She saved me. Now it's my turn to save her. Yeah, you can count on me. That's why I'm here. I don't feel a moment's hesitation. I still don't know the true reason why I came to this island. But I'm sure I'd do have made the same decision even if I hadn't lost all my memories. I still would have met Rene and learned of her situation. I can't really imagine anything being more important than this. I wouldn't have abandoned her for anything. The question is, will she accept me? Will I be good enough for her? Quan smiles gently. I'm driven to a sudden thought. If there really is such a thing as destiny, then maybe it was Rene who called me to this island. Alright. I'll take your word for it. Yeah, I'll keep protecting Rene. I promise. I'm sure it'll be an uphill battle. And maybe some days, I'll regret the choice I made here today. But the passage of time is relative. My vigil won't last nearly as long as that of the Cessna of Legend, who ended up freezing himself and wait for his beloved. It'll be a few decades at most. And that's sure to pass by in a flash if I dedicate myself to this one purpose. A human life is but a fleeting moment in time. If time really is without end, our lives span only the briefest of instances. But that's why we're able to cope with sadness and pain. And surely, in the final reckoning, happiness awaits us. I still think that people are able to give each other. Let's talk a little about the future. Once upon a time, there lived a young man named Setsuna. He was in love with a girl called Rene. But he belonged to very different worlds. Rene was a princess. And the king didn't approve of their, uh, of their rela relationship. He got angry and turned Rene into a frog. And that was the beginning of Setsuna's big adventure. Hmm, I tried changing it up a little, but the story is pretty much unrecognizable at this point. Though I can't exactly tell the island's legend uh, as is, with, the with good reason. How should I wind this up? Then we get there next time, in episode 2! Arrival appears! <laughs> <laughs> How did you like my story? The little princess sat directly in front of me, socks, puffing out her rosy cheeks. Uh, it's far too long a story to tell in one setting. The saga of Setsuna and Rene is an epic free parter. Uh, the little princess tilts her head to the side in confusion. Uh, I'm glad you noticed. Know the sister in the story is, in fact, a daddy. Hmm. She she's getting smart. She used to believe anything and everything I said. But recently, she's begun taking after her mom. Daddy's over a hundred years old, you know. Well, I guess. 
Um, does she really think people are still going to buy that? Mama's forever 17. Just don't think about it too much, okay? Come on, let's head home. Mommy is waiting for us. I think my little princess put a hand. And in that moment, an old memory flashes up. Papa, what's that? It's, it's nothing. How many years has it been? How many years since the day I met her on this very beach? I was about to be banished from the island, and she gave me a home. And when I was about to lose sight of my goal, she gave me a new purpose in life. We became family. After which, she gifted me with a new life. This little bundle of joy. Aww. My most precious treasure. The thing which now gives meaning to my life. Papa, you No, Now, I just got some wasabi in my eye. It's <laughs> Time really does fly by. Renee still spends most of her days holed up inside the mansion. I'm still there at her side, supporting her. However many little things we must have gone through in the past, I really don't remember them anymore. And I think that's for the better. What's important is the future, not the past. Says the guy who possibly came for the future. I'm sure that in another 10, 20 years, I'll still be willing away my days here in peace. And continuing to protect these small blessings I've found. Hmm? Has that mark always been there? <laughs> Have you shown it to mommy? <laughs> oh no. I see. It's no use flying into a panic right off the bat. Whatever regrets I may end up, but it's not like I can turn back time. But there is. A From now on, how about you take your baths with daddy? Mm. Don't pout at me like that. Don't you like daddy? Mm. Do you love me? On the other side of this, happiness still awaits. Even today, that's what I believe. I'm sure of it. And then, painting a bright future. Island. Yeah, this... This is not the right ending either, is it? I had to go to the beach with Karen and Sarah. Maybe I'm just trying to escape the weight of my responsibilities. But at the moment, I, do, I really don't have the power to do anything else. I still don't know what I can do to help her now. That is true. And whatever it is, I'm not ready for it yet. I promise to go to the beach with Karen, Karen and Sarah tomorrow. It'd be easy enough for me to claim my grant Kwan's wish. The sea so would be meaningless. Kwan. I like this island. It's a bit hot, but both the ocean and the skies above are quite stunning. And it's wonderfully verdant. It really is a paradise. So this Kwan's voice has always been soft, but now it's scar scarcely audible. So I was thinking of inviting Grenade too. <gasps> she doesn't actually have suit blood syndrome, does she? So it should be fine to take her outside. Setsuna-san, I don't know. I still don't know how I can best help her. But there has to be something I can do right now. Perhaps Rene was cursed by a witch in the past. But that curse was cast to the Rene of the past. Not the Rene I know. And even if the island is still festering under the witch's curse, slowly but surely its effects are being consigned to the, to the history. Rene's generation don't have to live out their lives in fear of it. And if that's very. And if that very fair constitutes a new curse, it's something. 
It's something they have to uh, overcome. I should be able to give them a push in the right direction. <laughs> we can't have a proper future with her until we figure out what, how could we exactly help her. I mean, having a kid is nice, and uh, having a future with uh, an hour is uh, uh, heart, heartwarming and all that, but I didn't think that we got was... Uh, it felt incomplete, so... Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you can count on me. This must be why I'm here. I'm sure this is the reason I washed up on this island, of all places. And maybe when we save uh, Rena, maybe then we can actually have uh, a nice future with her. But all of the problems getting rid of. So... The question is, how do I convince her to come along with us to the beach? Plan A is just to invite her straight up. But considering what happened the other day, I reckon my chances are slim. If I screw up twice without having first won her affection, I'm sure it will lead to a bad ending. I should probably come up with uh, an alternative. Okumaridestara. この引きこもりのスペシャリストがアドバイスを差し上げましょう。Sure, <laughs> is that something to be proud of? As Renee's mother, though, Quan must know her better than anyone. Uh, than anyone. Hmm, I guess it is worth listening to any advice she's got. 表でバカ騒ぎをすればいいんです。私だったら気になって様子を見に行っちゃいます。isn't that pretty much the oldest trick in the book? たとえば浜辺でバーベキューなどはいかがでしょう。ふーん。ふーん。では、裸踊りとか。ダメでしょうか。Not necessarily. That can be plan B. Now I just have to come up with a plan C. <laughs> There's no point trying to force her outside. Maybe my only option is to first rid her, uh, rid her of her fear somehow. Why is she so afraid of suit flight syndrome? I mean, it is a pretty terrifying disease, but Karen and Sarah do don't seem to have any problem interacting with s s sufferers. Why are they okay with it, and not Rene? Because she's Rene? Hi. I'm just wondering why she's so scared of suit uh, blight syndrome. According to legend, the first person to fall ill was a girl named Rene. And after her death, this Rene was prof prophesized to return one day. Hmm. I think Plan C is starting to take shape. No, wait a minute. Say, Kuan, you mentioned yesterday that lots of folk tales are actually about time travel. Are this island's legends the same? Funny for Anna to be reincarnated, Satsuna entered a long sleep and kissed in the ice. In one sense, he was traveling into the future. Eh, this is According to the uh, legend, Cecilia will wake up again when Rene is reborn into this world. Does that mean that Rene and I are... Hmm. That could make Plan C a little tricky. Getting naked? Why does she sound so disappointed? Nah, I'm just putting it on hold. You got that? <laughs> they prefer for plan A to succeed. So I can just get this over with, but... It's a sh 
どうして海水浴なんかしなくちゃいけないのよ。疲れるだけでしょ Come on, don't be like that. Total is good for you. 何よ。やっぱり太ってるって言いたいわけ Let's call this a plan DNC. <laughs> of course not. But don't you think it's kind of a waste? Never making proper use of that magnificent private beach. So でもないわよ。最近誰も手入れしてないし。Oh, yeah, you did hurt your foot on a piece of trash yesterday. でしょこんなところで泳いだってしょうがないわよ。But, but. っていうかあなた、女の子たちの水着姿が見たいだけなんじゃないの<笑> Well, I can't really deny that. 泳ぎたければ勝手に泳げば他の子たちと一緒に。カメラス !Rene, I want to go with you. 行かない。Hmm. Her Highness can be pretty stubborn sometimes. I guess I've got no choice but to shoot for Plan C. But that's. Hey, Rene. If you want to carry on playing the lonely little princess of the night, then I'm. Then I, ha they ha then I have no right to stop you. But if you want something else, if you want to change, however slightly, then I'll. 言ったでしょ欲しいものは全部ここにあるって。That's bullshit. あなたがいろいろ気を回してくれてるのはわかるし、嬉しいわ。でも私は、今のままで十分なの。That's bullshit. She sounds as if she was just trying to convert herself of that. She doesn't go to school, nor does she hang out with the new friends she's made, but they're all the same age. She spends all her time holed up in the mansion. These nightly walks seem to be her one pleasure in life. Bullshit. Destiny, it's that word again. If I don't talk her out of it sometime soon, she'll allow that so called destiny to take over completely. That's what I want to avoid at all costs. Hey, Rene. I had to do this. Even if it end up, uh, ends up hurting her. Even if it means losing my home. I'm not a s e t s o n that you're looking for. <laughs> Rene Stephens. Or at least, it looks that way to me. <laughs> oh, but... Sorry. <laughs> There's a weariness to her tone. It seems that h u n c h of mine wasn't misplaced. Karen, Sarah, and k o a n each told me part of the story. And that reaction of yours just confirmed my suspicions. The reason why Rene is so terrified of s u i t Blood Syndrome. To the reason why she's been so kind to me. All the answers are, are to be found in the legend of this island. Rene said that she was looking for something. That's why she goes on th those walks. And she said that she do already found what she was looking for. When she said that, she was facing me. Rene must have, ass、uh, must have assumed that I am, I am the Sasuna of legend. Or, more accurately, that's what she wants to believe. The fact that she's still walking the beach to this day proves that she's not entirely certain of it herself. I may be Sazaka Setsuna, but that's the name you gave me. Nothing more, nothing less. I am、um, nothing but an imposter. No, you don't. And the same goes for you. Me! You're not Rene of legend. Oh. t h e n s h o w I thought he was about to break the fourth wall. <laughs> Sorry, that didn't come out right. Of course, it could be true. I'm not going to deny that. But I can see for certain that you're not a reincarnation of anybody. She was born here on this island. And she happens to be called Rene, yes. 
Unfortunately, the burden of that name is simply too great for a young girl to bear. She's being held back by it, and its association with that old folktale. Without realizing it, she's ended up identifying with the Rene from the story. That's why she's so afraid of suit, light, uh, suit blood syndrome. That's why she can't go out during the day. And these nighttime walks were all that was left for her. Eventually, she started going to the beach every single night in search of a certain young man. Setsuna, the man predicted to deliver Rene from her curse. Of course, it wasn't like she was ever going to find him. That was delusional, de delusional on her part. And yet, she did find him. At least, she found a random amnesiac, whom she was able to shape into the Setsuna she desired. Someone who had already been silly enough to see that he do travel through time. Her meeting wasn't in any way predestined. <laughs> oh, by the way, I like how even he agrees that he might actually be really just a crazy guy. <laughs> Who forgot? She claims that she has everything she wants, but that's nonsense. It's just a flimsiest little fantasy. Oh. Renee looks down at her feet. I can't see her expression. But that's the truth. That's reality. As bitter and unforgiving as it gets. It's... <laughs> if you don't face up to reality, you'll never be able to move forward. Hey, Rene. There's no need for you to be so scared of suit blight syndrome. There's no need for you to show me any kind of special treatment either. I'm just me. I'm a regular guy, and here are you, nobody else. Renette doesn't answer. Her gaze remains fixed at the ground, and her shoulders begin shaking. Remember what you said to me? You invited me to go searching for what I lost. So we'll just have to go searching for, t for, searching for what you lost as well, for what you've forgotten. She's not a Renette the legend. She's a normal girl, an ordinary inhabitant of this island. I'll help you as much as you need. I'm not acting up the part of, uh, of Setsuna, the fictional hero. I just want to help her out as a regular guy living in the present. Hmm? What's that? Tears are running down her cheeks. She's overflowing with sadness and resentment. She feels like she's been betrayed. Yeah, but that wouldn't be real. Rene hastily wipes away her tears and turns towards the mansion. With that parting shot, she dashes off, leaving me all alone on the beach. My left cheek traps painfully. Did I do something wrong? Or was it the right the decision? Even if I were able to turn back time, I don't think I'd do ever find the answer to that. Right now. There's only one thing I'm certain of. I have a nice shirt. Nobody knows who they really are. And if they think they do, 
It's no easy thing finding your true self. Whatever that means. That goes for me as well, of course. I had a narrow strange dream. <coughs> a girl was stood there crying beneath a starless coal black sky. There was a man there too. And she was accusing him of something. He remained silent. But it was only too obvious that he was the cause of her tears. Why was she angry with him? It's impossible to survive this bitter reality without sometimes telling a white lie or two. People's hearts are fragile things. Besides, who was it that decided lying is wrong? Who even has the right to make the decision? I've always... It's less than 20 minutes, but whatever. I'm, I'm gonna end this episode here. We're going to the beach in an hour one. <laughs>